Okay, so for this next video, I wanted to add a little extra challenge. For our core exercise, we're gonna start string skipping. And this is gonna help challenge us a little bit. Now the first exercise is four bars long and we're gonna play it one time and stop. But of course, when you're practicing, loop it as much as you want. Okay, let's try it out. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Let's take our string skipping exercise and count in three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, and so on. And hopefully this is gonna be a lot more challenging than the last episode. Let's go ahead and try it. One, ready, go. One, two, three. 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 Now we're gonna go ahead and count four, then three, then four and keep going back and forth. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, and so on. Now the exercise is a little bit long, so we're gonna go all the way through it and stop. And again, at home, practice it, loop it as much as you want. Let's try it. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, one, two, three. This next exercise has us starting with our index finger at the beginning of each bar, but as each bar goes along, we have to change which strings we're skipping to. Okay, so carefully look at the tablature before you get into this one, and we're gonna loop it one time. Let's go for it. One, two, ready, go. One, two, one, two. And finally, we're gonna wrap up with the triplet exercise while doing our string skipping, and we're gonna count quarter notes at the same time. Let's try it. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four. One, two, 